tonight. Direct from our nation's capital, it's the 11th Annual Kennedy Center Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. Celebrating the legacy of the great George Carlin with Richard Belzer, Louis Black, Margaret Cho, Fanny King, Dennis Leary, Bill Maher, Joan Rivers, Gary Shandling, John Stewart, and Lily Tomlin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bill Maher. Thank you, thank you very much. Good evening, donors, presenters, and other East Coast elites. What a great day to be an American again. We have a president who can speak English. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a subject and a predicate and a point. We have a point. <laughs> Well, what can you say about George Carlin <laughs> that hasn't already been argued before the Supreme Court? <laughs> we will attempt to do justice tonight to the king of raw truth in a setting that requires us to work clean, because you know if George were up here talking right now, PBS would be cutting to that bald guy who sells the tote bags. <laughs> Now, here is what George Carlin said he wanted by way of a memorial. He said, quote, it should be extremely informal. And so here we all are in dark suits at the Kennedy Center <laughs> with lots of people who love golf. <laughs> he also said he wanted some great R&B music and lots of laughs, and we're going to have that too. But just think of it, the Mark Twain Prize at the Kennedy Center. What an honor to be associated with men like Twain and Kennedy, especially for Joan Rivers, who knew them both. <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> now, you know, today we think of Mark Twain as an author, but in his own lifetime, he was best known as a public speaker like George Carlin. They both gave speeches about hating all mankind to large and appreciative audiences. <laughs> in fact, you could divide Twain's and Carlin's work into the same three stages. The early stage, some people suck. The middle stage, most people suck. And the late stage, you suck. <laughs> and like Twain, George also was an author who wrote four incredibly funny, insightful books, all of which have been banned from the Wasilla Library. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I kid Sarah Palin. And I wish her luck on her season of Rock of Love. But... <laughs> George Carlin was called America's class clown because he brought to the stage a gleeful sense of rebellion against authority. Class clowns are the kids who entertain us by acting out and ridiculing and generally blowing the cover on the whole adult world. This, of course, was before riddling. <laughs> Here's the album class clown. It made me so want to be him, and it still does. And this one, here is the album FM and AM. This is the album that showed me you can be born one thing, but will yourself to become something else, something you like better. This album made a big impression on me as a 15-year-old teenager because side one, and this is the days when albums, <laughs> side one and side two, this album had so, oh. <laughs> That's been in there since 1973, I'm so sorry. Boy, they had a lot of seeds back then, didn't they? <laughs> Thank God they got rid of those, but. But that was the old, straight-laced, skinny-tie Carlin suit, short hair. And side two, FM, was the new hippie Carlin. T-shirt, long hair, the kind of guy the fellow on side one wouldn't pick up hitchhiking. And much dirtier material. And that theme that you could reinvent yourself 
inspired me to believe that I could do things differently, that I could try something new, like sex with a partner. <laughs> you know, even at the end, in his last HBO special earlier this year, I remember when I turned off the TV after watching and I was like, damn, he is still the rabbit. And I don't know if anybody is ever going to catch him. Not in the terms and the currency I value the most, utter honesty. What a giant. What a lion. Thank you, George, for everything, even though I know you can't hear me. <laughs> and thank you. You sound like a good group. And ladies and gentlemen, I want now to give you something very special. Jimmy Durante giving you George Carlin. Folks, it's great to see new comedians come along because if there's one thing the world can always use, you know it's a smile. And this young fellow is one of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, George Carlin. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sure that you're aware of the fact that teenagers today are the most powerful group in the country. First of all, there are more of them than ever before. And teenagers are so much better organized today than they ever have been before. Many of them are armed. <laughs> they even have their own radio stations, a coast-to-coast -coast network of top 40 teenage good guys swinging rough and stuff and echo chamber stations. <laughs> Where all the disc jockeys sound alike. Hi there, it's me from 6 to 9. Hi there, it's me from 9 to 12. Hi there, it's me from 12 to 3. Hi there, it's me from 3 to 6. It's all the same guy. He's in a jar, right? <laughs> Anytime you turn on your transistor, you just might hear something like the following. Hi there, kids. Welcome to the Willy West Show here on Wonderful Wino Radio. Wonderful Wino. Yeah, welcome to the Willie West Show here on a wonderful Wednesday with your winner spinner, Weird Willie West. Winging your way with 101 wild and woolly wedges of wax and crazy wagons to play on the radio. <laughs> right here on Wonderful Wino. <laughs> 1750 on your dial just above the police calls, kid. <laughs> We got stacks and stacks of wax and wax. We got the pick, the click, the ones to watch, the oldies but goodies and oldies but gooies. We got the top 700 records here in the land of wonderful rhino. Wonderful rhino. Here is a bulletin, bulletin, bulletin. <laughs> Russia and the United States are at war. Missiles have been fired by both sides. Washington and Moscow are in flames. Details in 25 minutes, kids, on Action Century News. <laughs> Here's another big one, kids, in the wonderful world of wine. Now, this one's number one and moving higher every week. Let's give a listen. Let's make some dedications first. We'll send it out for Big Al, Red, Louie, Spike, Choo Choo, Spanish, Anna, Dirty Mary, Nick the Greek, <laughs> Carlos, Junior, Pee Wee, Toots, Papo Spot, Greasy Creep, Woozy, Mush, Ralph and Brucey, Ralph and Brucey. <laughs> Here it is, kid. It's our pick to make you sick, Jenny. We do do do. We 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 Jenny. Okay, please welcome another huge George Carlin fan and a man who has earned legions of fans of his own, John Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> 